Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Once again, I am Mam Dea and I am your science teacher for the day. In this video lesson, I want to start the discussion on Module 4, Quarter 3, Grade 10 Science. However, I noticed that our module is a bit wide in scope, so I decided to divide Module 4 into two video lessons. In the video lesson that you are watching right now, I will be discussing DNA, RNA, their differences, and their structure. In the next video lesson that I will be uploading in the next few days, I will be discussing the central dogma of biology which tackles replication, transcription, and translation. However, for both modules, take note that we will be learning the same set of MELCs or most essential learning competencies. Namely, to explain how protein is made using information from DNA and to explain how mutations may cause changes in the structure and function of a protein. So if you will notice, these MELCs sound like applications of the topic itself. However, we cannot really attain these objectives or competencies without having a full grasp of what DNA and RNA are. So ano nga ba yung kaibahan ni DNA kay RNA? So DNA and RNA are types of nucleic acids. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid, while RNA stands for ribonucleic acid. So, siguro si DNA, lagi nyo naman siyang naririnig sa mga teleserye kasi ginagamit yan yung mga DNA tests para malaman kung ang isang tao ay related sa isa pang tao. So, punta muna tayo sa definition ng nucleic acid. What is a nucleic acid? A nucleic acid is a naturally occurring chemical compound that serve as the primary information carrying molecule in cell and make up genetic material. That's why it is used to identify whether one person is related to another person. It's because DNA is found in genes. So kung titingnan natin dito, ito yung isang image ng cell. If we zoom in, we will be having the nucleus. And then, inside the nucleus, we have the chromosomes. And then, inside those chromosomes, we have the DNA. Now, why is there a need for us to study these two types of nucleic acids? The DNA contains the instructions needed for an organism like us to develop, survive, and produce. So, sabi nga natin, it's a nucleic acid, so it carries messages. However, a DNA has its limitations. Mamaya malalaman natin kung hanggang saan lang si DNA, pero hindi talaga niya kayang lumabas kung saan man siya matatagpuan. So, kailangan ni DNA si RNA para maipasa niya yung message na meron siya. Alright? So, both types of nucleic acids have a building block called nucleotides. A nucleotide is an organic molecule that is the building block of DNA and RNA. So, a nucleotide has three parts. It has a phosphate group, a 5-carbon sugar, and a nitrogenous base. So, yung dalawang klase natin ng nucleic acid, nagkakaiba sila doon sa sugar at saka slightly sa nitrogenous base. Okay? And that brings us to the next slide. In this slide, we can see the basic difference between DNA and RNA. Again, DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. RNA stands for ribonucleic acid. As you can notice in the diagram, DNA is double-stranded while RNA is single-stranded. Sabi ko nga kanina, both have what we call a nucleotide. So, a nucleotide is made up of a phosphate group. Okay, and a sugar which can be found in the strands 
while the base pairs can be found in the middle. May kita natin na yung mga base pairs na yan ay may kulay. Pero yung mga kulay na yan, hindi talaga ganyan ang kulay nila. Kinulayan lang sila to differentiate them. Here, makita ninyo na yung isang base ay different from another base. So, let's go to the sugars. The sugar of DNA is deoxyribose, while the sugar of RNA is called ribose. So, dito makikita na natin agad bakit ba tinawag si DNA na deoxyribonucleic acid at bakit tinawag si RNA na ribonucleic acid. The difference is the term deoxy. Deoxy means deoxygenated, nabawasan ng oxygen. Now, if you will look closely at the chemical structure, of these two sugars, you will notice that in this part, walang oxygen. Pero compared to ribose, merong oxygen. The rest of the structures are the same, except for that one missing oxygen. That's why we call this sugar deoxyribose. Siguro madaling nang tandaan kasi yung pangalan pa lang, deoxyribonucleic acid, deoxyribose. Ribonucleic acid, ribose. The DNA can be found inside the nucleus of a cell, while RNA can go inside the nucleus but stays primarily in the cytoplasm. Now, in terms of nucleobases, okay, we have four types of nucleobases or nitrogenous bases for each type of nucleic acid. So, for DNA, we have thymine, cytosine, guanine, and adenine. On the other hand, for RNA, we don't have thymine. We still have cytosine, guanine, and adenine. However, thymine is replaced with uracil. Okay? So, in terms of pairing naman, remember that adenine always pairs with thymine as you can see color orange po siya rito pink siya rito adenine pairs with thymine whereas cytosine pairs with guanine now for the case of rna wala siyang kapartner dito pero later on we will see how it attaches to a dna adenine will now pair with uracil for rna instead of thymine since in rna wala na nga tayong thymine Okay. So, ano pa mapapansin natin dyan na medyo kakaiba? Adenine and guanine are called purines while cytosine and thymine are called pyrimidines. So, nung tinuturo ko pa siya nung face-to-face, -face, ang tawag ko dyan para maalala ko, yung purine, dalawang piatos. Yung cytosine at thymine, isang piatos lang sila. So, it has something to do with the structure. Okay, now let's go to the three-dimensional image of the DNA. Okay, this is the DNA. Sabi nga natin, um, it is double helix. Spiral lang itsura niya. And we use colors to designate the different nitrogenous bases that pair with each other. So here in the model that I'm showing you, Red is adenine, green is thymine, blue is cytosine, and then yellow is guanine. You can notice that in these symbols, they fit each other. So you can't really place cytosine next to adenine kasi ito, kung mapapansin ninyo, siya ay patriangle, tapos si cytosine pa curve. Cytosine would always pair with guanine while adenine would always pair with thymine. Hindi pwedeng magkaroon ng pagkakamali dyan. So, thymine would also pair with adenine, vice versa yan, and guanine would also pair with cytosine. So, what you can see on the screen is a simplified version of the DNA. What it really looks like is this. Okay, it is made up of molecules. Kasi nga sabi nga natin kanina, the building block of a DNA is a nucleotide and each nucleotide would have a phosphate group 
a sugar, and a nitrogenous base. Also, I think it is important to emphasize that adenine and thymine, as well as cytosine and guanine, they are glued together using hydrogen bonds. Okay, so, on your screen, you can see um, the simplified version on the left and on the right, we can see the actual chemical structure. Uh, don't worry, we will not be dealing with the chemical structure because we just want to understand um, how the DNA works and we will be using this learning or these concepts in the next video about the central dogma of biology. So that's all for this short video. I hope you learned something about the difference between DNA and RNA. So if you like this video, if you learned something from this video, please don't forget to click like and subscribe. And if you have questions, you can also place them on the comment section below. That's all for today and see you in my next video lesson. Bye!